on a mysterious space station orbiting high above the Earth. Cortex, remind me why I keep you around. You have failed me one too many times. Uka Uka, forgive me. I've been wasting all these years uh, trying to vanquish that brainless uh, bandicoot. He is of no importance to us. We want to take over the world. I've heard it all before, little scientist. What is so different this time? Trust me, Uka. I have a little plan to bring Earth's puny inhabitants down to size. Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we are playing Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. The first 2D Crash Bandicoot game. So, that'll be interesting. Let's get it started. At last, my planetary minimizer is complete. Earthlings will bow to my superior intellect. <laughs> Finally, after all these years of abuse, the tables have turned. Who's the little guy now? I, Neocortex, am your ruler. You will look up to me. Ha ha ha! I have finally won! Now nothing can stop me, not even that little bandicoot. Crash, Coco, the world needs your help. Cortex has shrunk our planet to the size of a grapefruit. We must stop him. It looks as if Cortex is using the crystals to power his shrinking machine. Crash, if you can find the proper crystals from around the world, I think I can build a device to reverse the effects. Good luck, Crash. You must find the crystals so we can put an end to Cortex's evil scheme. And there you go, there's our little intro. So this is set up pretty similarly to Crash 2 and 3 where we've got a warp room with five levels we can choose from. It's definitely designed similarly to Crash 3 with like the buttons and the teleporters and stuff. Anyways, even though we can go in whatever order we want, I'm still gonna want to go in order like usual. So let's start with Jungle Jam. It looks like we're gonna be going up against Dingo Dial according to that picture. So... We've got 42 boxes to get if we want to get the gem. There's two collectibles in this level, or two main collectibles. You get the crystal, just you just find it somewhere in the level, and you get the gem for destroying all of the crates. And in these crates, and sometimes outside of these crates, there's these Wumpa fruit. Collect a hundred of them and you get an extra life. You can attack by jumping on enemies, or you can do the spin move. Or, you've got a slide move. It doesn't look like you can jump out of a slide into the air like you can in other Crash games, but you can jump out of a slide on the ground. It's good to keep in mind. That crate there is a checkpoint. Now this leads to a bonus, so if we die in the bonus, we don't actually lose a life. It looks like there's 16 crates in the bonus. And yeah, if we fail at a bonus, we can retry it. But if we finish a bonus and we didn't get all the crates, then we have to restart the level in order to get back into the bonus. At least that's how it works in most Crash games. I assume it works the same way here. But I'll admit I don't know for sure. That's all the crates.
And there's the end of the bonus. Very simple bonus level for the first level, as it should be, being the first level. That was a life. You don't have to destroy these metal crates, you actually can't destroy them. So this box here has Aku Aku in it, which is our health. If we get hit at all now, we die, but with Aku Aku, we can now survive a hit. Looks like we've got ten more crates to get, with four of them being right here. There's our crystal. And that box there that was changing, I tried to time it so that I would hit it when it had a life, which I did successfully. But if you take too long to break those crates, like that change what they have, they'll start flashing faster and faster until they turn into one of those metal indestructible crates. Anyways, we got our gem and we're out of here. And now you see there's a third collectible. That thing is called a relic. If we re-enter this level, we'll be able to do a time trial. And if we beat the level in 35.5 seconds or less, we'll get that sapphire relic. But you, you can get better relics with better times. Uh, better than a sapphire is a gold relic, and better than a gold relic is a platinum relic. Uh, later on, I'll have bonus videos of me getting platinum relics on every level, just showing my successful runs without commentary. Anyways, moving on to the next level, Shipwrecked. This looks like it'll be an underwater level just like the Crash 3 underwater levels. Or Crash Warped, rather, is what it's actually called. Crash Bandicoot Warped. I assume most of this game is based on Crash 3. Which is funny, because technically the most recent game the most recent Crash game at the time that this one was released was The Wrath of Cortex. So yeah, these puffer fish, you want to hit them when they're not puffed up. That shark's not too scary, like you would expect him to be. Just avoid those mines altogether. I can tap the A button to do a little swim faster thing. Got the eels, all kinds of enemies from Crash 3 along with similar... Uh, not so much similar graphics, but a similar art style and like similar designs. I wonder if we're gonna get the little underwater jet ski in this level like you do in Crash 3. Honestly, it's been so long since I've played this game, and my only save file says 58%, so I'm wondering if maybe I didn't do the time trials or something. Maybe I just never 100%ed this game, so I don't think I ever fought the, like, completionist final boss. I'm aware of it, though. Of course, this is going to be in a 100% run, as all of my Let's Plays are. So there's our crystal. We did take damage, though, so we no longer have Aku Aku, and we'll die in one hit. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything up high in the water there. 
that's not the direction I wanted to go in. Okay, so thankfully we got Aku Aku back. We have to recollect everything that we got since the checkpoint, but everything we got before the checkpoint saves. It's not like in Crash 1 where uh, you had, in order to get the gem, you not only had to get everything, but you had to do it without dying. This game, thankfully, isn't like that. But in time trials, you know, you don't get any checkpoints, so that's a thing. So we got our gem now. Got all 63 crates, and this should be the end. No jet ski, but that's fine. Moving on to Temple of Boom. Seventy-four crates in this one. I meant to jump there, but it looks like I discovered a secret area by failing to jump, so that's cool. Glad I found this. Would I have been able to find that if I didn't accidentally fall? Yeah, you can see that platform down there. This is a TNT. If you attack it, it instantly blows up on you, so don't do that. Unless your attack is a jump, in which case it'll start a countdown. And that's how you're supposed to get rid of them. Here's our bonus. This level seems to be going pretty well so far. 28 crates in the bonus, huh? These bonus levels are gonna turn into some puzzles. They always do. Gotta figure out how exactly to get all the boxes. Of course, these being early bonuses, they shouldn't be too bad. So now that we have two Aku Akus, Aku Aku is upgraded to gold, meaning he'll take two hits for us, so it'll take three hits for us to die. Yeah, these crates will only bounce you so high, so you've got to take advantage of them while you can. Looks like we got all the crates, let's get out of here. Still got a ways to go in the main level. Make sure you get all those on the way down, because you're not getting back up. Although you could have, like, this lizard kill you, maybe. As long as you don't hit that checkpoint first, and then you get back up there that way. Ah, bird! That guy was from Crash 2, actually. see a life crate up there. I'm gonna want a height boost here. There we go. Again, taking advantage of the crates while we have them. There's a hidden thing down here for sure. Actually, were there two gems to get in this level? Because if so, this could be where the other one is hidden. Because there's always one from breaking all the boxes, but when there's two, it means there's a hidden one. Yeah. 
Okay, so that platform we saw there was a gem platform, specifically a red gem platform. Which means it's a platform kind of like the bonus platform where it teleports you. Except it'll only work if we have the red gem, which we do not. So hopefully there's no crates on that path. Because I would not like my efforts in getting that gem wasted. Ow, I didn't mean to go that far forward. There's our crystal. We only need one more crate, and there it is. Good. So we can get this gem now. It looks like crouching before you jump does give you a higher jump. Same with sliding I think yeah so just like in the normal crash games but yeah we get all we got all the crates so we'll get our gem but we can't get the other gem yet not until we get the red gem up next is frostbite cavern there's a nitro. If you touch that, it just blows up. Looks like there's somewhere we can drop down from up above. That's interesting. Looks like there's a few holes in the ceiling. It's probably just decorative. Yeah, so these designs, like this level, seems to be based on Crash 2. We'll get some nightmarish flashbacks to Cold Hard Crash. There's an awful lot of crates in this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're riding Polar and I accidentally gained invincibility. I don't want invincibility right now, I want to die because I missed crates. But yeah, if you get three Aku Akus, you get invincibility for a short time. But I don't want that, I want to die. I hope I don't hit a checkpoint, thank you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, I didn't want that Aku Aku. Am I not going to be able to get those crates? I'm going to hold right as soon as I respawn. Okay, good. That works. So yeah, we're riding Polar. We're running away from a Yeti. Polar can run. Oh no, I missed the thing. I think the Yeti breaking the crates counts. It totally does. Awesome. I'm happy I know that. In some Crash games that sort of thing counts, and in other Crash games it doesn't. The thing is, the Yeti can also miss crates, though. So if we miss crates, we have to make sure that he doesn't. The Nitro shouldn't matter, because... Uh, in most crash levels with Nitro, there's a special crate at the end of the level that destroys all Nitro. So that should definitely be the case in this level. 
Anyways, there's the end of our polar riding segment. Up to 78 crates. Back to the ice physics, which I, I didn't even mention that we were on ice, but yeah, ice physics are a thing. I almost got invincibility there so I could run through all of the nitro crates. But it was not to be. Man, that jump is awkward. Darn you, Penta Penguin! Okay, there's our crystal. Yeah, the crystals are usually just in your path. Because the crystals are the required collectible that you need to get in order to face the boss of an area. Whereas the gems are all optional for 100%. Anyways, it's bonus time. Didn't get the life I wanted out of that, but it's better than that thing turning into a block I can't break. Okay, so we've got a line of TNTs here, so let's book it. Pretty sure, yeah, that's all of them. So, this exclamation crate will make those outline cr crates turn into crates, but if that happens, we won't be able to get the crate over there, so let's get this first. Now I'll show you what it does, so yeah. Definitely wanted to get the breakable crate first, and now we got all of them. And this is that green exclamation crate that destroys all the nitro. We're still missing a crate. Okay, good, it's here. Normally those green crates are right at the end of the level, so I was really concerned when we were still missing one. Especially with that auto-scroller section, I wasn't sure if I messed something up there, but thankfully we got everything. And now this last level here is just in slime. I'm pretty sure this level was the only one with two gems. Yeah. Alright, just in slime. This is also based on Crash 2. Good to see that this game has a mixture of both Crash 2 and Crash 3. Both of those games are really good. Bonus already, that was quick. Yeah, break this before we we hit our exclamation mark. That's literally there just to ruin your day. It doesn't, like, hitting that doesn't help you in any way. Yeah, wh why is it that all of the exclamation crates so far have been horrible? Like, they're supposed to help you usually, so it's weird that so far they've only been bad. I'm just gonna wait here. There we go. Hmm. That should have gotten everything back there. Yeah, it did. Because these are the last crates. Wait till this explodes. Now we go. Yeah, there's 
already a ton of crates in all these levels already. Yeah, wait till that stuff explodes before you get the checkpoint. Otherwise, the checkpoint won't save that you got those. I'm glad that the thing that shows you how many crates you have pops up every time you break a crate. Because it means I know whether or not, like, you know, the TNT crates destroyed everything they were supposed to or not. And I don't have to worry about, oh, does this game not let me do that? Like, do they have to be on screen for this game? So we've got nitros there. And I'm pretty sure that the nitros will blow up those crates above them. I think. I hope. I'm pretty sure in this game it does that. I know like in at least one of the older Crash games, the nitro crates just blew themselves up and not the things around them when you hit the exclamation crate at the end. Yeah, definitely taken advantage of this invincibility and our ability to instantly destroy everything. It's weird that the green exclamation switch was so early in the level. Like I said before, they're usually like almost always at the end, like the very end where there's, like, nothing at all past them. Anyways, there's our crystal. Got two more crates to get. They better be up here. I assume they will be. They're not here, but I know where they are. Let's just hope I can get back there safely. Apparently, those nitros were too far away from those other two crates. So they didn't get blown up. I'm pretty sure we shouldn't have any problems getting back there. Yeah, it's pretty much just straight running. All the enemies are gone because we defeated them all. There we go. There's all our crates. Now we can go get our gem and finish the level. Can we even die at this point? There's no enemies. Are there any pits for us to fall into? I don't think there are. I think we just have to run in a straight line to the end. Occasionally jumping over boxes that are... A hindrance, but not a danger. And a very minor hindrance at that. And this should be the end. There we go, and now we have access to the boss, Dingo Dial. It's an underwater fight. He's shooting these stalactites down. And you just gotta wait for one of them to hit his shield and break it so you can go in and attack him yourself. Oh look, it's a horde of sharks. That's what a group of sharks is called, which I doubt it is. Of 
kind of reminds me of the tiny fight in Crash 3 where between hits a group of lions will run at you. But the way he goes across dropping things down also kind of reminds me of the first ever King K. Rule fight back in the original Donkey Kong Country. Now we got sharks coming after us while the stalactites are coming down. Nice to see the battle actually gets harder as it goes on. It's not just the same the whole time. And we've defeated Dingo Dial. And we've got an, uh, an ability. The Super Body Slam. Push R in midair to Super Body Slam. This destroys crates and nearby enemies. In Crash 3, or maybe The Wrath of Cortex, did I also forget to show the Body Slam before getting the Super Body Slam? Meddling Marsupial, you got lucky this time. My henchmen won't be so easy on you in the uh, future. Yeah, I'll have to show that Body Slam in the next video. So, yeah, we've done the first warp room. And now we can move on to the second. I'll give it a quick save here. Load Link Game. I need to look into what that is. Oh, is that? Oh! Is that how you play that, like, Crash Blast or whatever it's called in The Wrath of Cortex? I think that's what that is, if you have the GameCube version of Wrath of Cortex. I'm gonna have to look into that and see if there's more to it. But anyways... Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. In the next video, we'll start the second warp room. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.